Hi, I am Troy with Altern Rain, and this video is going to go through how to start up your sprinkler system in the spring. The first step in starting up your sprinkler system is you need to locate the backflow preventer that's on the side of your house. Um, this house has a PVB backflow preventer, which is very common, but there's also an RP backflow preventer, which will have a part in the video too. If your backflow preventer does not look like this, then find the RP backflow preventer video. Uh, the first thing you need to do when you start up your sprinkler system is we need to close all of these valves. So to close this one, you need to turn it perpendicular to the pipe in which it's attached, like this. And then these ball valves will be at 45 degree angles. You need to close, turn this one so it's perpendicular to the pipe. Turn this one so it's perpendicular to the pipe. And then you'll need a flat tip screwdriver and you will turn these little flat tip screwdriver spots so that they are perpendicular to the nipple that releases the water. So to do that, just put your screwdriver in, turn it so it's perpendicular, do the same thing with this one, and then we'll head downstairs for step number two of starting up your sprinkler system. The second step to starting up your sprinkler system after you've closed all of your valves outside is to come into your basement and turn the water on. Uh, to do that, you will have to find the turn on to your sprinkler system. Most likely it's going to be a red or green valve. Um, when the valve is off, the handle will be perpendicular to the pipe that it's attached to. And there is also a drain which will be perpendicular to the end of the drain. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the drain is closed. To, for the drain to be closed, it needs to be perpendicular to the end where the water would drain out. Um, if, if it is parallel, that means it's open, and when you turn this valve on, water is going to come out of that. So the first step is to make sure that this is closed, and then simply turn this valve very slowly until it creates pressure and stop when the end of the handle is parallel to the pipe that it's attached to. That has now turned the water on to the sprinkler system outside, and we will then head outside to do step three of starting up your sprinkler system. Okay, step three of starting up your sprinkler system. After you have closed all these valves, went downstairs and turned your water on, you will need to come back outside and open up your ball valves to supply water to your sprinkler system. And to do that, locate the first ball valve on the pipe that comes out of the house and turn it so it's parallel. You'll hear a little pop and the water will rush through and seal the backflow preventer. After it's sealed the backflow preventer, you will need to turn the second one very slowly so it's parallel to the pipe it's attached to and it will supply water to the sprinkler. So when you do that, you turn it very slowly and now you have turned the water on to your sprinkler system successfully. When starting up your sprinkler system for step one, if your backflow prevent preventer looks like this, this is how that you, you need to start your RP backflow. Uh, the first thing to do is take this valve that's at a 45 and close it. And then you'll need to take your two green handles, turn that one so it's perpendicular to the pipe, Turn this one so it's perpendicular to the pipe, and then you'll need a flat tip screwdriver, and you'll take each one of these four nipples and turn the, the screw so it's perpendicular to the end of the nipple, which will close those. And that's it. After you have done step number two in starting up your sprinkler system, you will need to come back outside to the RP backflow preventer and slowly open these two valves. Uh, the first one you will open is this one in which you will turn it very slowly until it's parallel with the pipe. This will allow water to go through here, seal the backflow preventer and then stop at this one. After this one is open and the backflow preventer is sealed, you will slowly open this, which will supply water to the sprinkler system. 
And once those have been done, you will need to go to step four, which will be at your sprinkler clock. After you have followed all the startup instructions on how to start your sprinkler system, if you would like your sprinkler system to run, you need to go to your sprinkler clock and turn the dial from off to auto, and it will set up the same program that you had set last fall. If you want to adjust anything in your program, please see the video on how to program your ESP TM2 sprinkler clock. Thank you for watching all of our videos. I hope that these videos are helpful. And for any more information, please visit our website at alternaterain.com or feel free to contact the office at 402-289-4019. Thank you.